challenge of having to defend you. I mean, do you go out there? I knew your guy likes to yap a little bit, but talk about the competition of trying to beat these guys all the time and how much better it might make them to be playing a guy like you. I mean, uh, every time I come to practice, I always want to just go in and try to get them the best level. I like to play in the trapping game so you can get a good look. Um, so if they stop me in practice, not being cocky, but they, I got a good chance. If they stop me, then when we, when we face other teams that got similar players, they should do pretty good. You had a great year last year, obviously. Dana came in here on, I think it was Sunday, and said you were like a totally different guy this spring, and, and in a positive way. I mean, you did so well last year. What could improve the point that you're that much better this spring? Uh, he probably just talking about me running my route fast. I mean, last year I really jog a lot of my routes, but when I get the ball, then I'm full speed. But now um, I can see I finally come out the ball fast. Of a top speed now, so that's one of the biggest things he had told me to work on, and uh, that's what I did over the winter break. And it's just like showing off now. What can that do for this entire offense? Not just for you personally, but how can that help the other guys around you? Uh, hopefully, by, by me playing fast, other people play fast at the same time. I can stretch the field. Um, they know if they see they see me open a lot and come quick, they gonna start doubling me. Hopefully, stemming and sticks and all of them get plays too. The fact that you weren't going fast was that maybe tipping off plays that you weren't getting the ball. Uh, I still was in a transition to be playing wide receiver. You know, I played running back my whole life, and uh, being outside wide receiver is, is, is a lot different. I mean, because you run at full speed every play, then you know you get tired, and uh, you got I'm in a position I got to watch off of blitzes and everything like that. So it was kind of hard for me, but now I'm uh, working on a lot, so I'm getting down pat. How about playing off of Stedman? I mean, Stedman's been pretty much the vertical guy. You're the horizontal guy. What are the things that you guys can do maybe differently than you did last year? Uh, one, one thing that's going to be different for this year, we're not on the same side of the field this year. Last year we was, uh, I was in the slot and he was in the wide open. Now I'm on the total outside of the field, so now they can't just close down on the outside. They got to play the whole field now. And hopefully, you know, we'll stand and get some one-on-one -on -one matchups, not get some one-on-one -on -one matchups. What about the nonverbal stuff with Gino? I know Stedman and Gino kind of had their thing all the way back. Are you getting that with Gino a little bit? I mean, you know, you, you know they had that since back. They was a mid so yeah. they, That's not going to stop nothing. But, you know, me and Gino got our thing, too. On certain coverage, we see they're man to man. A lot of times he probably come to me. But, you know, I mean, you can't stop with Gino and Stead guy. That, that's just one thing that's good about him. But can you look at him and say, and he knows? Oh, yeah, I, def I definitely look at him and give him the head knock and tell him I, I'm, I'm going to beat him this time. And he'll look out for me. Dave, on another side of the game that's changed a little bit is the uh, the kickoff returns with uh, you know the rule now changing. Are, are you noticing a difference when you're trying to take those kicks? Are you deeper in the end zone? Is that changing anything? I mean, uh, for the new coach we got, um, he told me I'm gonna stand with my feet on the goal line. And, but you know, sometimes I might kick back a little further, but it's a good chance I might break it out. So I mean, it's all depending on the game plan and how the coach feels. Yeah, I was going to say, is that something that you'll decide when you catch it eight, nine yards deep, or is that something that they'll, I mean, they'll tell if, you? If I probably catch about eight, I probably won't bring it out. But probably five, I'm going to go ahead and bring it out.